It goes back 486 feet along the Hidden Harbor uh, launch ramp. Uh, Trip, these are the pictures that were taken, I don't know, maybe 16 years ago when it was cleared. So you can see how flat it is. Obviously, some of those trees are bigger, but this is what I'd, I'd just like to get this all mowed down. Uh, this uh, arrow points to a stream that uh, borders Lot 28 next to Hidden Harbor. That's the border which creates a huge green belt. Uh, and that stream goes up uh, over 486 feet. So right now, those, uh, those lots are completely overgrown with weeds over the last, uh, I think, uh, 16, 17 years. But as you can see, uh, this is actually the end of the cul-de-sac uh, where they're building on Lot 27 at the present time. So Lot 27 has a significant home being built on it at this time. And a lot of the clearing that was done here, this is the back view, has also cleared a lot of, of uh, Lot 28. What you're seeing here is uh, Lot 28. Lot 27 is being built on, as you can see up above, but a lot of Lot 28 was uh, cleared when they clear, cleared the uh, Lot 27. Completely overgrown, but just as it was cleared over there where 27 is building, all this could be cleared except the green belt owned by Hidden Harbor would have to stay. But it goes way back here. Again, that creek is just running along the road here. This is that creek. There's the basketball court in the background. It's all, it's very buildable, very flat. It can be, uh, you can see how flat Lot 28 is. You can just walk here, it's, so it's all cleared out now. So, Lot 20, Eight is a beautiful property. It has a small dock permit on that little inlet, so it's not a big dock. It's more of a platform, but the water is about two to three feet deep in the summer. Good, you know, good flat ground. Here's we're coming out where 27 is again. This is where they're building the house. And almost all of Lot 28 down at this end has been cleared. Most of this land right in here is Lot 28. It's not Lot 27. Even though uh, they cleared it. And I've just kind of walked around the perimeter of lot, what Lot 28 would look like. Just going from one end to the other. Lot 24 sold for 172,000. Lot 25 sold for 216,000. Lot 26 is on the market for 189,000. Uh, like I said, there's other lots sold, but 27 is sold. It sold for 140,000. The largest lot in that whole uh, Lakefront is 28. It's at least 1.4, and with a green belt, I'd say it's over one and a half acres, and that's what I walked through here earlier. And it has a lot of other features that you can tell when you come out and, and look at it.